Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In previous video, we have introduced mass clamp and vertical three dot loop to powerful API methods in Unity. If you missed some videos, I highly recommend you to watch that video. If you want to start from this video, I have uploaded the current project to my Google Drive, so feel free and take them out. All resources can be downloaded from the links below. In this video, we will talk about the singleton pattern in Unity. The singleton pattern is a way to ensure a class that has only one single global access instance available at all times, behaving much like a regular static class but with some advantages. This is very useful for making master type classes that hold global variables and functions that many other classes need to access. Ok, let's get started. Ok, now we want our player can move between two different things. We want our player can leave from things 1 and enter to the entrance of things 2. So first let's create one empty game object called exit. You can hold command shift and n to create one empty object as well. Then we add a box collider 2D component and change the collider position and size. And then create one new C sharp script called exit and attach to the exit game object. When the player attached to the collider box area, we want something happen, right? So we can use on trigger enter 2D. When another object enters a trigger collider attached to this object, we can change the parameter name to other because using collision will in some places make some unnecessary mistakes with other variables in Unity model behavior. We have to detect if the game object tag is player, which means our player game object has entered this box collider area. We can use debug.law to test whether the methods can work or not. There are two points I have to mention. First, if we use the onTrigger enter 2D methods, your game object must have the collider component. Second, don't forget to check the is trigger. It's very easy to ignore if you switch from the scripts to the Unity. Okay, let's see the result. In console window, we can see the debug log means correct. So next thing we can make is some things transitions. First, we have to use the namespace because we need to make some transition from the things one to things two. We use things manager dot things load methods. Inside the parameter, we have to get the things name or the things index in the build settings. Don't forget to go to the build settings to drag your things to the window. We can see we have moved to the another things now. But in these things, we find one issue. In these things, we have one gray to manage our tile map. We have the main camera. Our player moved from the things one to things 2, but our player leave blank in things 2 and he disappeared. So how to fix that? Can we make our player as a prefab and each things have one player prefab? I don't believe each player will have the same move speed or the gold amount or other dates in the each things. Actually, we can fix these problems in our player controller script. As for the things transition, we will talk about in the next tutorial. In this tutorial, we only talk about the singleton mode and see its powerful effects. A single pattern is a way to ensure a class has only a single global accessible instance available at all times, behaving much like a regular static class but with some advantages. This is very useful for making master type classes that hold global variables and functions that many other classes need to access. 
I'm going to start by writing static references to the instance that we are going to create it. Static just means it's a variable type which can be shared across all instances of the same class. So it's just very useful to keep all stuff together. So type public static and the name of your script because this is the things that we are going to directory references and give the name instance. And then we call the awake methods because awake methods will be executed before all of other methods in Unity Mono behavior. We want our methods call at the beginning of the game. If the instance we are looking for is equal to known, which means we don't have player controller in our scene. We will say instance equal to this object. We use keyword this to represent this mono behavior. And else statements if the instance we are looking for is not equal to this mono behavior, which means we have already have one existing player controller. We have to destroy this game object, making sure only one instance of the class active at a time, and we have to remove this object. Also, don't forget to write don't destroy unload game object with lowercase. We don't want to destroy the target object when loading a new scene, because in later we will make the scene transition. Our character will move in different scenes. This is the reason why in this tutorial, we will introduce the singleton pattern first before scene transition tutorial. When we in play mode, we can see our player has appeared in the scenes too but he did not appear on the correct position. We will talk about later in the next tutorial. We can Google to check the singleton pattern in Unity. The main reason we use the singleton pattern is that in one game, we may have a different things. For example, each thing might have a background music. We can create one audio manager script to control the game music. Each time when we call the sound effects, we can simply call the audio manager dot instance dot play sound effects functions to get these sound effects. Now we have set the player controller as singleton pattern. We can global access this class and its public variable. Click our camera controller. We don't need to get the target transform component by using gameObject.findGameObject with tag. We can simply use class.instance.transform. This method can save your word and keep your code easy to readable and clean. We can leave some comments on here. Now we can try to change the variables from the public to private. Our instance cannot get access to it. If we change the field to the public, it can work. We have displayed two methods to get access in Unity. The difference between two methods is that using single pattern can be used in different things and very readable if we have a bunch of the script in later. Alright, this is the end of this video. We leave one thing unfinished. We want our player appear on the correct position in the next scene. In the next video, we will have a look at how to realize it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, hope to smash the likes and subscribe button. I'm so appreciate. Alright, see you in the next time.